What's up, everyone? We are here with the 2020 March March 2020 bike check for you. A couple of you have requested a bike check, so I make a video, make it a little bit more entertaining for y'all at this time. We will start with what is the newest part to me. That is the frame, the 2019 BSD SureShot. As you can see in black, I went with the 20.7 top tube option. This is the longest bike I've personally ever owned myself. The chainstay can be set between 13.4 and 13.9, and I currently have the wheel centered in the dropout at about 13.65. Frame features a 9 inch standover and a 74.75 head tube angle, so relatively relaxed for you know, at least this day and age of BMX. Moving up top, we'll start with our bars, which you may recognize. These are the Bone Death Bomber bars in the 8.5 inch option. The bars are uncut at 28 inches wide. They feature a whopping 12.5 degrees of back sweep and 2 degrees of up sweep. Currently feel pretty comfortable to me. I do have them in line with the forks, or at least I have attempted to. You will see over here I have a stolen brand BMX uh, grip stop. These have been discontinued, they're pretty hard to find. Anyone finds any NOS, I would love them. <laughs> uh, but it is just the one because I did think I was buying a pair, but it was just the very last one in stock. Um, anyway, also discontinued, we have some OG Edwin De La Rosa Animal BMX grips in blue. I uh, love these grips, as everyone should. I have, as you probably already guessed, the Odyssey Par ends. We have an Odyssey mono lever here, medium reach, in the polished or silver color, whichever you prefer. I'm not sure I was listed on their site off the top of my head. We have a Stranger, uh, Stranger Haze stem here. It does seem to be unbranded, but it is etched in on the other side, of course. <laughs> um, from there, we have the Primo Churchill headset. I do like that it's pretty tall, raised the bars up a little bit. Um, however, I would consider slamming it because I do honestly think it's a cleaner look. I do have some black ones here next to me. I have a BSD and Odyssey, I think. No, no, Colony. I have Colony as well. So I might black that out as well, but right now I do think that uh, Chrome pops. You know what I'm saying? And I am considering bigger bars in the future, but we're going to rock with them for now, you know what I'm saying? We have the oldest part of my bike right here, the Forks. We the People Patron Forks, which I am almost positive are the 25mm variant. Uh, they do offer a 35 as well, um, but just off my naked eye, I would say they're the 25. At the time I purchased them, I didn't really know too much about BMX geometry. Um... So probably just went with whatever option was recommended to me. Sorry, the camera went blurry there. We have the Attican, Odyssey Attican 2.25 inch tires in the front. Uh, all terrain, basically. Uh, max PSI 100, as you can see. You may already know that. We have, I got a complete wheel set. Um, <clears throat> great deal, under 200 bucks for my local bike shop. Uh, it really hooked me up on my last build. Uh, well, I mean this build, but it was a different frame then. Um, our front wheel is the Cinema ZX complete wheel. It is laced to a uh, Cinema 333 rim, which um, is the one that is not actually welded. So not the strongest, but should be good enough for me. It did include all four hub guards. They are plastic, but it does include a drive side as well. Um, so it'll be good for my use when I upgrade, if I upgrade, when I upgrade. I am considering a left-hand drive. It is currently the right-hand drive setup. Um, I do just have two of my four Odyssey Graduate plugs, 4.5 inch, on the bike right now. I really ain't going to be throwing up anything switch, you know, but uh, I am considering left-hand drive for the future. I have, I got from another local bike shop, uh, as most of my parts are from. Uh, the frame was not actually, this one wasn't, but the last two were. Um, anyway, we have our valve caps here. They are like an aqua blue, kind of see-through. They're rounded. I have had many pair of dice on my bikes. I do have literally a pair right here as well. Um, that's funny. But, 
I do think if you have a really nice bike, you should put some kind of aftermarket valve cap on. That's just my personal opinion. By all means, it's your bike. Ride what you want. But, you know, I see people with $2,000 setups who don't have valve caps on. And I don't know. I just think it's like the last little touch you could put on. You know, personalize your bike. We have, actually, this is not an Odyssey cable anymore. It is a Dagwire Lex SL. It's technically a mountain bike cable. Um, but I've been told from, well, my, one of my local shops actually threw it in for free, uh, which is really nice of them. I've been told it's a really good cable nonetheless. Um, we have, of course, gyro tabs. Gyro will be coming soon. Probably just going to go with whatever um, one of my local shops have in stock. Um, almost any color other than oil slick, because, well, that's a different build. <laughs> but, um... Any recommendations, let me know. If there's anything I should steer clear of, let me know. Stuff like that. Appreciate y'all as always. Move it to the back. We currently have a Shadow Sabrosa Pivotal Seat. The exact name I do not recall at the moment. Got it off eBay. Um, I do think it has a really cool design when you look at it up front. I am temporarily probably going to go ahead and throw um, the Bone Death Vibrator lizard seat on there uh just at least temporarily and ain't as in line with the current color scheme but you know i had it on a different build probably throw it on my main here for a little bit moving down we have the shadow pedals the metal ones that are they have the, they have the, uh, the sealed metal pins as well the exact name i cannot recall at the moment i was gonna look that up but i didn't Anyway, I didn't buy these brand new. I did get them gently used at the bike shop. So they were 40 bucks instead of like 70 80 So that was really cool. Definitely have not had a single foot slip since I put them on. It could just be due to the metal pins. Um, but I will be riding these for quite a while. I do really like them. We have, as you may have already guessed, the Odyssey Thunderbolt Cranks and a 165 right-hand drive. I rode 170 for a while. I do think the 165 was a nice change. Uh, Makes stuff like fakies easier. I did jump up to a 28.9 gear ratio. Been riding that for a little while. I do prefer it now. Um, although I do live in a hilly town. So when I'm just riding around my town, it is uh, a little bit of a pain sometimes. <laughs> but I do I do like it. Uh, the Odyssey LaGuardia 28 tooth sprocket, nice and thick. I don't do a whole lot with it. But it will definitely put up with abuse. I'm going to put it through. We have the Odyssey Evo 2.5 brakes here. Uh, with some clear Odyssey Ghost pads. This, um, they're definitely dialed. <laughs> that wheel stops. What happened here? I don't know. I will look in that. It looks like something might have got caught on there. But, anyway. I got distracted. We we have a Shadow Conspiracy chain. I do believe this is the V2. Could be the Supreme. Um, either way, I wrote a lot of them. Uh, and I do think it'll hold up just fine for me. And I do like it. Um, currently, the chain is super tight. Uh, the one guy at the one shop, the mechanic, he just does that. I didn't ask for it not to be. But I did ask him for him to center it. So I might slam it here soon. Run it with a looser chain. Um, generally, I do just prefer a looser chain more because that's what I'm more accustomed to. Um, but I do see benefits to both. Odyssey, Attican, 2.25 in the back as well. I already ran through the hub up there. You know, the rim is part of the complete set. I do have the same um, valve cap here as well. That is most of the bike so far. I do wear a full face helmet when I ride. A lot of people ask me why. Um, I mean, you can listen to Scotty Kramer's story. You know, I just want to protect myself. I can't buy new teeth. You know, stuff like that. <laughs> I have some... Oh, those aren't the Attica gloves. Whose gloves are those? Wow, I totally just looked them up and I forgot. Um, but I do have some Odyssey gloves. I really love those as well. I am going to be putting this shoelace, you know, at least part of it, on both the front and uh, the rear and front hub. I know a lot of people don't like the look, um, but it really does a great, great job of keeping your hub clean. Um, and I do think that is the bike in its entirety. 
I believe there's an Odyssey inner tubes, but I can't say for sure. Overall, liking the bike so far. Only got to ride it once so far with the new frame, so we'll fill it out. Oh, this is the Odyssey uh, seat post. Uh, basically, as long as you don't get mouth your bikes, you'll be fine. <laughs> and I do usually ride with some Sabrosa combat lights, uh, at least at night. They don't do a whole lot for illuminating stuff in front of you, but they definitely do the job for allowing cars to see you. So those are really cool as well. And I do think that will complete my March 2020 bike check. I will be selling off my new my old frames sometime soon, probably. Um, if y'all got any suggestions, any questions, let me know. If you made it this far in this long-ass video, thank you very much. I hope y'all have a good night.